Men aren't the issue. Let's see. How are men not the issue? Because men are not complicated or difficult to please. That's women. Men are not so in order they buy into these unrealistic and idealistic, fallacious ideas of romantic love, such as a preach, dude. Fucking king. Preach. Spitting. Dude, honestly, in a weird way, I'm nostalgic for like old school PUA men's right activist guys who are just like, you need to stop being a pussy. The new meninists are constantly fucking crying. They're like, oh, no, no man ever gets a flower. The only time a man is ever given flowers is on his funeral. Men don't actually say hi to one another. And it's like, okay, well, I don't know. Maybe if you stop being a fucking dork, dude, you could do that. You could give the homies flowers. You know what I mean? You're doing this to yourself. Just soulmates in the one. That's women. Cliche such as happy wife, happy life, and the woman is always right does not exist for men. That's women. A man's feelings aren't conveyed to be the focal point of a relationship, nor is the relationship satisfaction and longevity predicated upon a man's feelings. That's women. Men are not the ones you have to simp and pander to in order to please them. That's women. Men are not the ones who say they want one thing and then end up with the other. That's women. Men are not the ones who struggle to operate within the confinements of reality or hold women oh uh i mean the old ones were also pussies yeah no for sure you're absolutely correct about that but at least they didn't like at least they didn't fucking present themselves in such a fucking horrifyingly baby shit style way what's also funny about this kind of commentary this kind of rhetoric about like oh men are actually oppressed men are actually oppressed is that like it's these dudes that are also like you know andrew tate fans and i've described this over and over again that like people like andrew tate consistently reinforcing the narrative of patriarchy is part of the reason why women feel like they can't approach men uh, otherwise they might get fucking attacked they might be emotionally abused they might be physically abused if the uh, entitled partner who is uh, obviously physically larger too and is a constant looming fucking presence a looming threat would then uh, maybe do some shit that might hurt them as their prior experiences have shown you know what i mean accountable when things go wrong in the relationship that's women Men are not the ones who develop these entitled, spoiled, I'm always right no matter what because my feelings said so attitude. That's women. Men are not the ones who struggle with pettiness, spitefulness, and passive aggressiveness. That's women. I mean, this is just like straight up the lamest way to shit on women. At least if you're going to shit on women, do it in like the old school way and just be like, the bitches, the bitches. You know what I mean? Like, I I'm serious. The, uh, the other men? style That's is also like very, the other style sucks too. But this is the funniest way to do it. It's like trying to come across like you're airing legitimate grievances. I don't know. I just have like <laughs> by his logic, he sounds like he's a woman. Yeah, he's being petty, spiteful and passive aggressive while complaining that women are petty, spiteful and passive aggressive. Dudes nowadays, misogynist dudes nowadays got me begging for old school misogyny. New school misogyny is so like uh, it's just the same kind of misogyny but masked under emancipatory language and academic language to make it seem like they're saying something polite when they're not being polite at all. It's just like a very cowardly way to go about it. Whereas like uh, old school misogyny was like very obvious. You know what I mean? It just hits you bam in the face. A man's feelings aren't conveyed to be the focal point of a relationship, nor is the relationship satisfaction and longevity predicated upon a man's feelings. That's like why not? Why? Why is a man's feel? It's just like your own personal fucking uh, point of view on the matter men are not the ones who complain that i've eaten all the remaining donuts without offering any to my wife who clearly wanted one <laughs> yeah now they're oh my god that's such a good lock chatter now they're writing aaron sorkin speeches about hating women like at least like old school misogyny old school patriarchal attitudes was like uh, 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 i hate women i hate women get back to the kitchen get back to the kitchen clean the house clean the house know your place now it's like pontificating endlessly in the most eloquent way possible to ultimately arrive at the same fucking point that you just hate women and that like they need to stay in the kitchen or they are the reason why the dating pool is fucked it's women men are not the ones you have to simp and pander to in order to please them that's women men are not the ones who have to pander to uh, to, to please them that's women men are not the ones who say they want one thing and then end up with the other that's yeah, men are not the ones who claim that they want one thing, but they end up with the other. That's women. Like, dude, you're just ascribing manipulation and bad qualities to women, but you're just using, like, uh, words that liberals would ultimately use normally. This is the Jordan Petersonification of social uh, whining. Yeah. Whenever I see them, I kind of root for them to find a woman that actually loves them for what they are and teaches them to be open and empathetic. Like, if you even want to get to that point, have to fucking take the first step, okay? Take the whatever fucking pill you need to take to recognize that it's like a lot of the issues that you are presenting are a cop out and most of it stems from you. There are 
3.5 billion women on the fucking planet, dog. If you think you can just like wipe away half the population or trap them into this like monolithic structure, you're out of your fucking mind. You're just crazy. You're lost in the sauce. Women. Men are not the ones who struggle to operate within the confinements of reality or hold themselves accountable when things go wrong in the relationship. That's women. Men are not the ones who develop these entitled, spoiled, I'm always right no Men aren't the ones threatening to divorce you if you don't stop digging your structurally unsound tunnel in your backyard. That's women. Okay, to be fair though, you should be able to do that. Digging a hole all the way down to China in your backyard that's structurally unsound is a lot more fun when you don't got a bitch in your ear telling you how fucking dangerous it is, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> how come, how come Elon Musk gets to do it, huh? He called it boring tunnels. He said Hyperloop. Everyone's like, here, take a billion dollars. But me and Billy Bob, we get together. We build that same goddamn thing. Everyone's saying, hey, you got a permit for that. Fuck no. Last time I checked, this wasn't communist China, even though I'm trying to get down there with the tunnel. Nancy Pelosi gets to go to Taiwan. Why can't I dig a hole down to Beijing? No matter what, because my feeling says so attitude. That's women. Men are not the ones who struggle with pettiness, spitefulness, and passive aggressiveness. That's women. Depicted yeah, he's just spiteful and passive aggressive as fuck in this entire video. As innocent angels in the media, that's women. Pick the wrong men and then complain that no good men exist, that's women. Unrealistic expectations, unreasonable. Bro, isn't he just doing exactly what he's complaining about here? Like, th this just seems like you fucking picked the wrong woman, I guess. And now you're just complaining that all women are bad. In your, in your that's woman video. Standards and shitty selectivity, that's women. How are men not the issue? That's awesome. The whole argument is no you. Yeah, I mean, this is the this is the nice guy attitude who's like upset because, you know, someone didn't throw pussy that he thought he was entitled to when he was being nice. Hey, that boy gay. 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 Hey, that Dude, TikTok has the most unhinged people across the board. Like, if you want incels, incels galore if you want fem cells fem cells galore too they, you you got all of it it's awesome if we're not going to even talk about like the structural inequalities and just reduce it back to like individuals everybody loves taking their individual grievances and casting it on the other side and making like over it arching over encompassing moral statements and you can always find a fucking audience for it that's tiktok TikTok is like mental illness Netflix. Yeah, it's awesome. Always friend zoning the guy who would do anything for me. Smile. I just want to say for guys who put in half ass effort, dude, why is this so loud, dude? What the fuck? I have no problems with that woman. She's probably great. But look at these comments. Same Lily. Oop. I blame my trauma. How do I fix this for real though? It'd be like that SMH. Now watch this. Listen, fellas, if you give a girl the world, she'll leave you for a guy who puts in half the effort. If you hate women, just say that. No, 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 no. I don't. If you're a misogynist, but just, no, I'm no, no, not. no, shut no, up. I'm, if I'm you not, hate I don't. Bro, it's just like a sequence of dudes who've taken L after L after L after L and have been like so deeply hurt by women that like their entire worldview fucking revolves around just being like, this is probably the best way. Like it's a, it's, it's a prisoner's dilemma. It's a prisoner's dilemma. The way that they fucking operate and they're like, well, the other side's gonna fuck me anyway, so I might as well fuck them first. Which, unironically, basically reinforcing that same cycle of, like, weirdo fucking behavior from the dudes and weirdo behavior, or not weirdo behavior, but, like, repressed and and uh, uh, fearful and defensive behavior from women. Definitely so it turns into weirdo behavior from women, too, but, like, goddamn, dude. Being straight seems exhausting. It certainly can be, but, like, I don't hate women. Hyper-focusing on what one woman is saying and then being, like, all women are like this, so you should be, like, fucking an asshole or whatever, I feel like is not not very productive you know it's not a very productive use of your time brother just go to the gym hit the weights you know focus on yourself if you hate women that much or if women have harmed you that much my brothers in allah i'm telling you right now focus on yourselves okay kings do it and one day you'll be better okay stay away from women if you hate women if you feel like they're always gonna hurt you just stay away and focus on yourself I, I just don't. hate men that's how my comment section would look if I made a video similar. A lot of girls on this app say men ain't shit and men ain't this and men ain't that. But guess what? All the good men. You know what's really funny about this, by the way? Like, he's not even wrong. Like, TikTok is breeding fucking psychotic fem cells. Now, obviously, that has no fucking, uh, it, it doesn't like exist in the real world. And it's just basically creating that same cycle of hostility. 
for no reason. I've always laughed off like unironic misinjury because I still do. I think it's like ridiculous because uh, there is no systemic basis for it. There is no structural violence associated with misinjury. You can only look at like maybe personal anecdotes and whatnot. But TikTok does fucking breed mental illness in women just like it breeds mental illness in men. Straight the fuck up. It is a very weird attitude that like a lot of women have like the West Elm Caleb shit we saw when they were like, dox this man because he was ghosting me. And it is definitely weird. It is definitely not good. Oh my Lord, dude. Everyone needs to chill the fuck out. Uh, incels are ridiculously unattractive. The further deep down the hole, the more unattractive you get, the more unfuckable. Okay, but what you're saying is literally what incels say as well. What actually ends up happening is it makes you less appealing to people if you're constantly fucking endlessly thinking about how your life is meaningless or how you will never be able to recover. You will never be able to like meet someone. You will never have love. You will never experience any of those things, okay? Is straight up making you less appealing because you're constantly fucking living in a toxic rot in a headspace that is so awful for you. And it feels good. It sucks you in. It feels good when you have other people that are like saying like, yeah, it's not your fault. Don't even try. Don't even try to, you know, better yourself in any meaningful capacity. Don't try to work on your flaws. Don't try to work on your insecurities. Don't take care of yourself. It sucks. You're in a shitty situation. And in a very weird way, Hearing that makes you feel good because it removes your it, it, it removes blame away from you. So it's basically taking one layer of, of issues away from uh, the mental prison that you've locked yourself into. It gives you a sense of comfort when it's not your fault. It's everything else's. It's everybody else. Says or does Welcome this. to the Red Pill Analysis series. Pay attention action. to what she says and then read what I write on top. Ladies, here we go. Let me know. Pay attention. Let's go. One, if she tells you to go talk to your hoes, she says this because she's jealous. She doesn't feel like a priority. She doesn't feel like you actually really genuinely talk to your hoes. One, red pill. This is a test. Do not fail that test by saying, no, you're the only one. Either walk away or leave her on scene or tease it off. Both of these people are awful. This is awesome, dude. I, I This is so great. Because, like, red pill content is just, like, constantly duking it out with, like, the other side, which is also fucking saying, like, the weirdest shit. It's peak internet, exactly. It's literally just, like, hog, hog Alina on hog violence. Really like her. Or she's trying to tell you that you a player and she just not gonna waste her time. <laughs> Two, if she doesn't respond to you at all. Or she responds once in a while, but it's, like, not really a conversation. That's why she you talk to like multiple you. women. You she's talk to multiple Wait, Red Pill, correct. She's either not interested in games, you need to hold frame, focus on your mission always, and do not develop one-itis. One-itis? I mean, she's right about this, and he's even agreeing with her, but uh, maybe instead of talking to multiple women, one of those women could be a fucking therapist, okay? Jesus Christ, dude. Yes, if someone doesn't talk to you, I've said this before. If you want to date a girl, if you like a girl, and you try to talk to them, and they don't talk to you, they're just not making time for you. Respect yourself, okay? Move on. It's done. It's not working. Anyone who wants to see you or wants to be with you will take the initiative, okay? Take the hint. Move on. If they don't see you for all of your worth, then why are you fucking wasting time on this shit? Respect yourself. Respect yourself. And respect them. Move on. Girls because at the same any time. person that likes someone is going to want to talk to that person. Walk away. That's it. That's true. She's right. And I guess he's framing it in a weird way, but he's right. And three, if she calls you little brother, that doesn't count. It's when she literally says brother. Do not accept the nomenclature. Friend zone only happens if you accept that deal. Don't sign that contract. Wait, what? Dude, bro, that she calls you little brother, big brother. Bruh, dude, bro, that doesn't count. It's when she literally says brother. You have been friend zoned. Ugh, I hate both of these people. Okay. Stop giving ugly men a chance. This is why TikTok is a fucking cesspool, okay? It's literally women and men constantly me, 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 chirping about the same exact shit, okay? And yes, because of patriarchy, Surely there is a, a little bit more leeway with the way that like women react to this sort of thing, but it's literally not to be the most like extremely, uh, you know, centrist, big brain, five head guy, but oh my fucking God, dude. Anytime I want to see this shit, it's literally either ugly ass women constantly talking about how ugly men are or ugly ass men talking about how ugly women are. All the hot people are fucking dancing. They don't give a shit. 
Hot people are not doing this. The sexy people on TikTok are doing this, okay? They're fucking dancing their asses off, and they got millions of fucking followers. So all you ugly motherfuckers are constantly on TikTok being like, man, don't give the time of day to ugly men. Don't give the time of day to ugly women or bitches or whatever the fuck the, the dumbass uh, uh, dudes are doing. Hey, guess what? Life would be so much better if you guys didn't do that, okay? Stop doing that. It's so fucking weird. Motherfuckers literally were like, all right, we got to fight fire with fire. It's, I can't wait. It's going to be this woman saying, stop dating ugly men. And then some ugly ass dude is going to turn around and be like, oh, well, what about you? You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. That's it. This is like half the time. That's, uh, that's how TikTok is. Stop giving ugly men a chance. What do you think would happen if a guy <laughs> made the same video saying, it is day seven. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It's all the same. It's all the same shit. 146 and woefully the men and women on TikTok are still fighting over which demographic insults the other more off. Let me just say, as a person who has been called ugly on many occasions in my lifetime, I've been called ugly by women, yes! men, yes! teachers, children, dogs, the 2009 staff at the Pacific Science Center. Let's just put this to bed once and for all. You're all mean. <laughs> He's you're right. All nasty spirits out there. And that's why you're all on TikTok calling other people ugly, downing other people's looks, talking about how other people should be living their lives, who other people should be dating. All the while, you're still single. All the yes! while, you're still not that cute. It does not matter how many houses you investigate, yours still has roaches in it. Every single day I get on here, I see at least one man with his little podcast mic talking about how he doesn't want fat women or single mothers or women who have had sex with more than two people in their entire lives at the age of 28. Meanwhile, these women he's talking about aren't even in his DMs. They don't want him. I don't want him. And then right after that, I'll see a video of some girl who's posting a picture of herself next to her ex, like, this is who I settled for, this is who I cried over. Meanwhile, old girl isn't exactly looking like Kate Upton herself. As a matter of fact, ma'am, let me tell you a little story about a teapot and a kettle. There's a reason why y'all ended up together. Because you know what? At the end of the day, everybody's shallow. Everybody has their preferences and what they like and what they true. don't like. Some it's people true. just feel the need to vocalize it more than others. And let me tell you something. There's nothing in this world uglier than a mean-ass bitch. There is no weight on a scale, height on a ruler, amount of hair on your head, armpits, legs, or otherwise structure of your face that's ever going to make you uglier than some motherfucker who feels the need to get on here and down people to halt their own insecurity or try to make other people feel bad about what they like or what they think is attractive or not attractive. Jesus Christ, dude. Yes. Attractive. That's just loser shit. That's right. God damn. It's like, it's literally, it's always like, <laughs> What if a man was saying this? It's always the same exact shit, okay? Back and forth, non-fucking-stop.